Well, howdy folks, <laughs> Coffee and Tools here. <laughs> and I'm gonna please like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and my cameraman is not too impressed with me right now. <laughs> but I've got some, a wood game going on here today that I thought I'd show it to you. And we're gonna try to guess on some wood. I've got five pieces of scrap from my projects in the last few weeks and I laid them up so that we can take a look at the scrap. And we've got two questions. Uh, out of the five pieces, we're gonna run two questions by you. First off, you're gonna take a look at the five pieces. I'll show them to you. And one of them is fake. It's not even real wood. That's one. The second question, just out of curiosity for lumber, you'll take a look at my scrap pieces and guess which one has the highest dollar value per, I will say per, per board foot or something, but just the highest value overall to the other four pieces of scrap that I have. I've got, uh, this is Monday, so it's, it's, it's hack day Monday. I'm gonna show you a hack. A lot of comments, a lot of people aren't gonna be too happy with what I did, but I did something for a hack job this week on a saw, and we've been testing the saw, and it seems to be working exactly the way I thought it would, but I'm gonna show it to you, and yeah, don't try this at home. Home <laughs> ever, you know, but just leave it to me to you know try something crazy. So here's the five boards that I'm talking about, and it's just some sample cut pieces, just scrap that I have for laying around. And each of these is a different type of, of, of lumber, but also out of these five, one is fake, it's not even real wood, the other four are real wood as far as cabinet building or whatever kind of project you've got going on. So I thought I'd show this to you guys and let you, you know, a lot of people will probably uh, take a quick guess at it. And if you're into lumber, you're probably going to look at this one here most likely, but that's not, you know, that's may or may not be the case. So I'm going to leave this here and then we're going to go look at my hack job today. The other thing I'm going to look at is this, one of these pieces here is more expensive than the rest. Uh, to purchase per plank or per board. So I thought, well, also two things, you know, where's the fake board in this mess? And also, which one is the expensive board that's sitting here on the bench right now? And I'll let you look at that for a while, and then I'm gonna do the hack, and then we'll come back and I'll give you the answers to what I've got laying here on the bench. So this is the hack. And this is a strange one, but I uh, thought we'd try this this week. And really, it was, I think it's a success, but I'm sure there's going to be some comments. Maybe a few, are you crazy or something, but it, um, it's been cutting lumber. So it does work, but it's not something I would recommend anybody to do. But here's the problem. This saw is a 5 8 arbor, and the saw blade is a 30 millimeter arbor. So what you have here is a 30 millimeter uh, washer that's reduced to a 5 8 uh, arbor size, but this is plastic. It's made on a 3D printer that I made. This is an Irwin blade from uh, New Zealand, and it has a 30 millimeter arbor, which is not one inch, okay? so. If you assume it's one inch, it's not. It's, it's actually 30 millimeter, says right there, 30 millimeter. And I purchased this for a saw that I don't have it here anymore, but I still have the 10 inch blade. It's brand new, hasn't been used. And I thought I'd like to have it on this saw, but I ordered a, an adopter ring out of uh, China. And when it came in, it's too, so thin that the blade actually slips down and slides like this and this washer doesn't hold it. So I went back looking and I can't seem to find one. In the meantime, I would like to try this. So I went ahead and printed a plastic 30 millimeter ring with a 5 8 hole for a 5 8 arbor in it. It's uh, three millimeter thick. That was the thickness I chose. It's a little bit thicker than the blade. And the reason that I believe I could get away with this is because of this uh, concave or it's virtually well we won't call it dished but it's relieved on the inside here by over a millimeter so in other words this or surface area here is making all the pressure against the blade to lock it in place and of course transmitting that to the 
arbor in the center here. So what's happening is these square pieces here are putting the load into the shaft, but what's in here isn't really doing much of anything other than this helps to center the blade when you mount it. So I don't think the plastic is necessarily totally evil. You know, yeah, it's a little bit of a crazy idea, but it allows me to mount the 30 millimeter blade up on a 5 8 arbor. Let's see if we get that. The only other thing is, and be careful with this, guys, if you run into one of these saws. This is a Hitachi, and the bolt is a reverse thread. So, in other words, it looks like you're taking the bolt off, you're actually tightening the bolt up. But the plastic arbor thing, I just, well, you know, it really depends, I guess, on how much pressure you're going to have. And in this case, uh, there we go, nice and tight again. It seems to work. I have cut some different woods on here already with the setup, and it's not showing any problems. The plastic is holding up fine, but like I said, it is just 3D printed. And uh, any comments out there? Uh, I'm inviting comments. Yeah, go ahead, you know, make your comments or get, get typing if you want, but the uh, plastic is all just centering this blade. I don't really think there's much uh, going on against the plastic, and the plastic has no place to go now that it's trapped up inside there, and the blade is nice and tight, so I don't seem to have a problem. I think I got away with it this time, but it'll also allow me to put this on my table saw using the same configuration of just, you know, making a 3D washer that's three millimeter thick for this particular application. The uh, table saw would be the same thing because the, the clamp area here, the clamping force here is concave so it doesn't really put a load on the metal or in this case plastic washer. This just helps to center the blade real nice before you put it on. And a 3D printer is very accurate, believe me, very accurate about measurements so there shouldn't be any problem with this. But I had to show this to you because I actually have more of these 30 millimeter blades. It's kind of a cracker head idea, maybe, I don't know. It, so here's the here's another blade. This is actually about a nine inch, roughly. Again, it's, it's all a millimeter, and this is 30 millimeter. So the metal washer on this one, this is pretty tight actually. It's pretty amazing. The hole on this one, it's it's even the 30 millimeter washer is a little tight with it. But uh, if anybody's done something crazy like this, let me know or comment below because it is like I say, I I hack stuff with the with uh, again a 3d printer making stuff for woodworking <laughs> i do a lot of it and it happens a lot but i think this works just fine and uh, this is another example i have a bunch of these different blades that are 30 millimeter this way i can make use of them on the table saw or in this case on the uh, miter saw so fabulous now let's get back to that crazy wood uh, game and i'll show you the answers so if you were looking at these over and you had to guess, I would bet most people would guess it was this one here. And the one that's actually fake out of all these five is actually this one on the end. Yeah, this is a fake piece of lumber. Furniture builders and everybody, they do a great job on uh, faking wood these days. This really feels and looks like a piece of wood. But when you turn it up and you get onto the end grain part and you start looking at the sides of it, you suddenly realize this is just you know, laminated paper run through a high pressure, high temperature machine with lots of epoxy and it's, you know, we could call it composite almost or something, but if you get it wet, I'm sure it'll probably explode like uh, melamine or something else does. But yeah, this is the fake piece of lumber. Now, the other question was, which of these costs the most? And uh, I guess I'll tell you too what, what, what boards these are. This is a regular piece of pine. It's, it's somebody had stained it at one time and I took the cabinet apart to recapture, reuse the wood. So I'm repurposing it. So it's just a regular piece of pine and you can sort of see the knot with a crack in it. Like, yeah, typical pine. Yep. This piece here, which a lot of people probably thought it was the fake part. It's not. It's actually, well, here we'll turn it this way and see if you can get a good look at that. It's just plywood. And the next piece here, which is kind of a rough looking piece is western red cedar yeah so i guess we're sort of answering the question before we get there but uh and that's of course just uh a 
uh, pressure treated uh, board, no big deal. This is the most expensive piece in the set right here because this is Western Red Cedar, which right now will cost you at the store quite a bit of money. I bought some planks last year and I had to pay $57 per board of what I was purchasing at the time at the uh, lumber, the local lumber store. It wasn't even a big box store, so because the big box store doesn't really have good quality of uh, Western Red Cedar, at least not around here anyways. But that, I thought that might be some fun today, just to... I'll bet you guessed this one, but yeah, that one there, isn't that something? That was fun with some five pieces of scrap lumber from, from my pile, just thought it was something odd to throw in. The uh, hack job was a shorty, so I thought we'd do some fill with, uh, just some fun with some lumber. Thank you so much for watching Copy Tools, and check back uh, Thursday, I've got another new tool. And every Thursday we'll do new tool, I guess, uh, at least for the time being. We'll see how that runs. And in the meantime, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, over and out.